Vardy Hernandez plays quite an important role in Lisa the Painful. After Brad saves him from the men's hair club president, he helps Brad get across to the next area, plus gives Brad the truck key so the player can fast travel. After that, most players tend to ignore him. He's quite weak, he hasn't got many skills, his AoE truck slam misses a lot, and there are other party members that offer better utility or damage. That's a shame because it's quite easy to miss his story, and it's honestly one of the sadder ones in the world of Lisa. Let's start at the beginning. Fardy gets captured by the men's hair club presidents. They tie him up, force him to wear makeup, and strip him of his masculinity. Then they call him the girl, and allow any men in the club to have fun with him. Fardy gets abused. Sexually abused. Who knows how many men have abused Fardy before Brad unintentionally rescues him? Who knows how long Fardy has been kidnapped for? This doesn't really get brought up much because Fardy's introduction is meant to be played off as a joke. Brad hears that the men's hair club has a girl, and he makes his way to save who he thinks is Buddy. And it turns out to be a chubby man with a moustache who's wearing makeup. As the player, you don't expect this. It's quite ridiculous. This is a typical humour found in Lisa the Painful. However, this does mean that Fardy's abuse gets brushed off as a joke. Nice one, Austin. Real nice. Now, if you do use Fardy in your party, he will always have the depression status, which is a serious debuff which will never go away. After all the abuse he went through, of course he would be feeling depressed. There's an uncommon dialogue from Fardy I want to share with you. This will occur if you choose to save him at the cost of Brad's arm. To quote Fardy Hernandez, I kinda wish I could've just died. After going through all that abuse, Fardy doesn't want to live anymore. You feel bad for Fardy. Later in his story though, he does find motivation. He does overcome his depression. But it's not in the way you think. You see, Brad kills his brother, Tardy, who's a total piece of shit by the way. But regardless, he helps Brad by making a boat and getting him across to the next area. Funny that, how both brothers help Brad get to another area. Anywho, Fardy discovers what Brad did to Shardy, and he wants revenge. He no longer wants to die. He no longer has a deep depression. He's motivated, and he wants Brad dead. He has found purpose in his life again, and Brad kills him, mercilessly. Well, that's the sad fate of Fardy Hernandez. Never forget the abuse he endured, how important he is to the story of Lisa the Painful, and giving the player the ability to fast travel. So like next time you play Lisa the Painful, you should put Fardy in your team. Help him gain back his masculinity by fighting strong men and joy mutants. He's not a bad party member, he's just one that's been through a lot.